The Diocese of Albany sues New York State insurance regulators over requirements that employee health plans cover abortions. In a recent column for the diocesan newspaper, Bishop Edward Scharfenberger writes, what is objectionable in the mandate is not only that they force us to fund and participate in actions that are gravely immoral, but also that they were enforced under color of law without our knowledge and in clear violation of the law. Joining us is Mary Deturis Pals, Communications Director for the Diocese of Albany. She is joining us by Skype. Mary, how is it that health insurers didn't notify the diocese over this mandate? Well, that's what this litigation, I think, is going to find out, because it's a little unbelievable for most people when they realize that a state agency, the Department of Financial Services, was able to basically do an end run around the Constitution and without any legislative or regulatory process, insert into uh, the model language that is mandated on all insurance companies uh, the requirement to provide abortions. And so that is in our health, our current health insurance policy uh, covers abortion at this point. Are you encouraged at all by today's Supreme Court decision in the Little Sisters of the Poor case? Do you expect that to impact your case at all? I guess at this point, um, it's still a little ambiguous. You know, they're throwing it back to the lower court. But yet, I think it's encouraging in that we feel um, they're very different fact sets, but we feel we have even stronger grounds uh, for in our lawsuit because of the way this is all handled. Um, so we feel encouraged in the sense that that we think we're hopeful then that, this, that ours has got a good grounds here. How would you say this insurance mandate threatens religious freedom? I think that, you know, we're being joined not, it's not only a Catholic, um, a Catholic complaint, we're being joined by Baptists, Lutherans, Episcopals, non-religious. So we keep trying to remind people that this is not strictly a Catholic issue. This is an issue for anyone who values their religious freedom, their religious liberty, and their constitutional protections. Because if they can do this, whether you agree with us on abortion or not, if they can do this to us, they can do it to anyone, which is to take basically go completely against our religious our right to religious freedom and to not have to do something we consider so morally a morally uh, grave evil, um, and we're being forced to provide this. We have no way of knowing if we've actually been complicit in this at this point. So I think people really need to be, they need to wake up to what's happening. Does it seem like a deliberate effort to impose this on people of faith? I think we could probably say there's a reason why none of us knew about it and why uh, we were not, it was not disclosed to us that it was happening. And we sort of found out by some of this by accident. So I think we probably have to look at that and say something was, uh, something was afoot there. <laughs> Mary Deturis-Pals, Skyping with us from the Diocese of Albany. Thank you, Mary. Thank you.